Hey there, my fellow coders. It's time to unlock your coding potential and take your skills to the next level. Achieve new heights in coding with a new companion by your side. Chat GPT. Say goodbye to coding roadblocks and hello to an epic coding adventure with an AI by your side. It's like Star Trek, but in real life. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Isn't Chat GPT gonna steal our coding jobs? You're not. Chat GPT is here to assist and empower us, not replace us. Used well, it's a powerful tool to enhance our abilities and supercharge our productivity, making us even more in demand in the coding world. Let's do this! So, how can ChatGPT assist you with coding? To give you a taste of the possibilities, let's walk through a real-life scenario. You're helping a company decide on a new version of their website. They've been running an A-B test, collecting data on subscribers for a few weeks. And that's where you and ChatGPT come to the rescue! It's me, Captain ChatGPT. Let's break it down. First, open ChatGPT. Once you're in, the key is all about crafting the perfect prompts to get the best results. If you want the right answers, you gotta ask the right questions. I've always said this. Whenever you encounter coding issues, like you don't remember something, never happened to me, or you run a code and get an error, ChatGPT can be your assistant. Pro tip, don't just ask random questions like, uh, can you fix bugs? Or, hey, what is the meaning of life? And it'll say 42. Instead, provide clear instructions with context and examples. This will help ChatGPT understand what you need and deliver more accurate and relevant responses. It's like exactly giving your coding buddy a clear task so they know what to do. Just specify the role you want it to play like a Python coder planning to gather data to analyze. Then give it direct, concise, and specific instructions using technical jargon for smooth communication. This is one of the most important tips as ChatGPT is very versatile and can do a very wide range of things. So specifying the role is the best way to make it more productive. All right, now you know that getting errors is okay and ChatGPT can fix bugs. Once you receive assistance from ChatGPT, you can implement the fixed code into your project to check that it works. It's like magic, but with code. Now you're gonna dive into some serious statistical testing to determine whether the new version of the website is performing better than the old one. But hold on, before you jump into the numbers, let's double check. We've read the complete data set. And having correct data messing up your analysis, right? <laughs> now, I know some of you might be feeling a bit unsure about how to do this, especially if you are new to coding or haven't done it in a while. Well, worry not, because we've got our AI assistant to help us out. Just provide clear instructions and it will guide you through the process like a pro. You can even ask ChatGPT to explain the code. But wait, there's more! Since you're interested in comparing the performance of both the control A and test B groups of the website, you need to calculate the proportion of subscribers from each group. And to do that, you'll need to split the data set. Let's call the data set that contains visits for the control version results underscore control and the one for the test version results underscore test. Got it? Good. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty you need to find out the number of subscribers from the users who visited each version of the website. Drum roll, please. And the numbers are in. The proportion of subscribers for the control group is, and the proportion of subscribers for the test group is. Hmm, looks like more people became subscribers after visiting the test version. Could Version B be the winner? Let's see. Before you jump to any conclusions, our AI assistant suggests performing a statistical test to make a fully data-driven decision. So we looked at the data, specifically the Z-test for proportions. But hold your horses. It's important to note that the AI assistant is smart, but it's not infallible, unlike me. Actually, ChatGPT will not calculate proportions correctly if we provide the data set and it could miss issues with the data, like duplicates could affect the accuracy of your proportions. It's time to talk about a little something called hallucination. What? 
No, I'm not talking about seeing pink elephants after coding all night. <laughs> Am I right, coders? I mean that AI assistants like ChatGPT can sometimes generate responses that sound confident, but may not always be accurate. So let's review the data set and check for any instances where the same user visited the page without subscribing, but later ended up subscribing. These instances shouldn't be counted as multiple users in your calculations, as they represent the same user. It turns out that we have 19 duplicates in the data set, and we need to recalculate the proportions excluding duplicates. Wait, I just remembered there's a way to only count unique values in a data field. It's like this magical formula, but I... I can't quite remember how it goes. Do you remember what it is? Let's give it a try. Ah, oh, it didn't quite work as expected. You know, time to call in our AI assistant again to fix the bug. All right, now that your data is all cleaned up and proportions recalculated, it's time to perform the Z test. Now remember, ChatGPT told you how to do it, so let's just copy the Python code. You'll need the group sizes and the proportions. You might need to do a couple of fixes, so always check the answers and you're good to go. The result of the statistical test shows that rolling out the new version is the correct thing to do according to the data we have. I think it's time to wrap up our lesson on using ChatGPT as a coding assistant. It's been a wild ride, huh? ChatGPT can be an awesome tool to assist you in your coding journey. It can fix bugs, create code, explain code, suggest what to try next, but it's important to use it wisely. With great power comes great code responsibility. Be clear with your instructions, check the answers, understand the terminology, and apply computational thinking. With all this in your coding arsenal, you're gonna rock the coding world. The possibilities with coding and AI are endless. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to develop the next breakthrough AI assistant that takes the coding world by storm. Keep coding, keep learning, and keep pushing those boundaries. You got this. Happy coding, my fellow coding adventurers!